So this brings you to the instructions page that uh, you can skip by just pressing P, but here it summarizes the main screen. So the main trading screen, the options trading screen, and the performance summary, and all their, some of their features. So we can skip this for now, I'll just press P. So, so this page is where you select how many charts you're going to want to trade. So I'll put in five uh, on my keyboard and here five shows up. And then once you have the number of charts you want to trade it, you just click the box, which brings you to the main trading page. So here too, uh, it'll start pause. So you unpause by pressing P and it begins trading. You can change uh, the settings of viewing the graph here. So it'll show 70% or 30% or 10%. So we'll leave it uh, on the default, which is showing the entire graph. So the main thing is you can trade these stocks. So let's say uh, I'll pause it now. It's, you can see the account information here. You start with $100,000. So I'll unpause it and I'll buy 50,000. So I clicked here and you could see how it's reflected in the account info based on what the stock does. So you can see how it, uh, I've made $3,000 and uh, so this is the account information, so I'll let it play. And you also have leverage, so I'll just buy as much as I can. So here you can see I've bought this much uh, and that's my account value. You can see we're on chart three out of five. And also something interesting, you can see how it, uh, it I made it so that it clears every time new chart begins. So I'll let it play. Also here you could have, you, you, there's an options trading feature where when you click on this, you can customize what option you want. So I'll just, you do it with these buttons. So and once you select all the parameters, you can now buy the contract by clicking here. Uh, if you want, you could clear it by with this. So I'll just buy something random. Uh, so strike 60, 120 days call, I'll buy it. You can see how that shows up under contract history and uh, net option position. And that'll also be reflected in account information based on what that does after I press play. So I'll also buy $50,000 worth of stock, and that's reflected here. And you could also change the speed. So here it's on max, you could bring it down to, and also, do you see how chart five just began and everything else just uh, cleared? So I'll let it play. You can also adjust the speed, so I'll bring it down to low. Bring it back down up to maximum. You could also adjust the moving average here. Five days, I'll leave it as 25. And you can uh, also flatten whatever your position is by pressing flatten position here. So let's say I, I have $50,000 worth of stock. Now it's not $50,000 exactly. So if I press flatten, it brings it back down to zero. Or if had it had I been short $50,000 worth of stock, that would have also brought it back up to zero. So I'll, I'll let this finish. I'll just buy some more. and. Uh, We'll wait. So this is the last page. It's a trading summary. It has uh, account information, performance analysis, uh, options, history, and an analysis of charting performance. And you can view your profit compared to how much you would have made had you just bought every single time or had you been short every time. So. You could see this on a relative basis, or you could click here and see it on an absolute basis, which is more useful if you want to see it individually. So if you want to see the short strategy individually or the long strategy, but if you want to compare how, how well you did to these strategies, it's better to do it on, well, on a relative basis. And it also has which stocks you traded. So we can see from these, I recognize Apple and Gilead and Starbucks. And these are randomly generated from a database that I have. And that's a summary of my 15.1.12 term project. I hope you enjoyed it.